and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over how the Madden market has affected or has been affected by the Ultimate Legend drops of Eric Dickerson, Andre Reid, and who is the third one? Rob Woodson, as well as the 64 brand new team MVP theme builder two players. So that's a total of like almost what, 67 players, all being 97s. The market definitely should have been impacted. Now, here's the weird thing it's never entirely expected that it will crash. Sometimes it can even go up depending on the circumstances of how you get these new cards. But for the most part, I imagine the running back market did come down a little bit, considering Saquon and Eric Dickerson are gods. By the way, if you've not seen, I do have now Saquon Barkley gameplay and Eric Dickerson gameplay on the channel. Both of them are absolutely godlike. I recommend you check both of them out. The Eric Dickerson gameplay did just go up like two hours ago, maybe. So go check that out. Go dro drop a like, watch it, it's super funny. And the Saquon Barkley gameplay as well, very funny. I recommend you go check out both. Show some support, guys. And if you are in this video, remember the day long giveaways are still going on. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, comment down below the number of like you are, and subscribe to the channel. What you do all this thing you're entered to win. Every 80 likes is 10K. I have awarded, I believe, two people already, and I have the other two or three that are in my DMs. I have to do it after these videos. But guys, get into this video. Let's cover everything. So, you guys know what I'm talking about. There was a pretty recent content drop, which is the Theme Builder 2s, of course, right over here. Now, Theme Builder 2s, pretty standard. You guys know what it is at this point, but there's 64 players total, 32 offensive and 32 defensive. Now, there's plenty of players to go over here. You guys should know all of them already, all the stats. Now, all of them weren't overpowered. A lot of them were really, really good, and a few were overpowered, such as Saquon Barkley, which will lead to the impact on the market. Now, let's head over to the market, and start with the lower players real quick. Now, lower players are going to be kind of weird because there's sets, there's training that was needed. So it's not like a lock that they'll be cheaper, but we always got to check. So the 88s, like I said, you never truly will know based on these low cards. Now, there's no more, so there's no indicators anymore because all the higher cards now require lower cards or they require them for power up. So it's very hard to use them as indicators anymore. So that's why I don't really stay there. If you guys have been wondering why I stopped going over the 88s, 89s, that's why I usually set around the 92, 93s. Now, real quick, some market advice, guys. Going over to Series Redux, there's quite a few things you could be doing at this point as far as taking advantage of the market. If we head over to the Redux cards, remember, there's still about two guys left that you really want to be picking up from the Redux. First off, Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas is the final Mutt 10 card that has still not received an upgrade yet. Will he be sought after heavily? I couldn't guarantee that, but I can imagine that he will go up in value if they have released a new one. That would probably be an endgame left tackle. As you guys know, Peppers, we all set to get him, and he went up quite a bit for about a week and gave you guys a ton of profit to be made. Now, Michael Vick is another one that's going to be getting an Ultimate Legend card probably pretty soon, and he's going to be a very expensive Series Redux, Redux card. And as you guys saw, Palomalu, you definitely want to have him already because Palomalu skyrocketed. Dion's another guy that's going to be going up quite a ton when his new card does come out. And another guy's going to be Bo Jackson. He is one of the lower ones, but remember Bo Jackson, if you guys want to have him, I don't really care for him this time around. I think I'll be okay with Saquon or Dickerson, but Bo Jackson going to be probably getting a card. I don't know if it's going to be soon, maybe like another three weeks to a month. He's super cheap, and he's going to definitely skyrocket up to like 200k per if he does get an endgame type card. Now let's move on up a little bit more because we covered that. Let's get another, let's get another halfbacks. Chris Johnson, by the way, another guy, if you are going to want a guy like that, going to be an endgame type running back, and he's going to probably be a combine hero, so I recommend if you guys want him as well, you go ahead and scoop him. Now let's head on over to the 94-95s. And I look at what we're working with. So, these cards, I don't really care for these cards anymore. I really don't check this filter anymore. They're just gonna, it's so crowded by theme diamonds, theme builders. It's just too many players everywhere. If you're a theme team type guy, you love these filters right now because there's so much you can do with this. Only one I really focus on here is Ultimate Legends because you have to remember a lot of these Ultimate Legends will be getting card upgrades during the Ultimate. Oh, I mean, NFL 100, my bad. NFL 100s will be getting cards upgrades during this Ultimate Legend time period. So, you guys like Deacon Jones. Will and you know, all these guys probably get him Barry Sanders. So if you ever want to pick up any of these, if you want any of these guys' as endgame cards, pick them up now while they're kind of cheap before they end up coming out, or at least wait till every Saturday and they haven't come out yet. Maybe pick them up the night before just in case, because you know they're going to be coming. And you know when they do their power ups will skyrocket, such as Reggie White, the running backs, of course. Now a few of them already have come. The ones that we really care about right now are Eric Dickerson, but he just came out, so you can see his price skyrocketed up. Now the ones I'm really worried about right now are Deion Sanders, Lawrence Taylor, and. Who else is it? Those are my main two for the most part, but 
I already have them. I'm ready and prepared for that because I do know when they come out, they will be very, very expensive. And I'm not trying to pay double the price just to power up a card that I can't even use so I'm gonna use the new card I bought. So it's kind of like just mindlessly buying two cards, which always sucks when we have to do that. I really hate when it comes to that. Now check out the team of the year, guys, and see how those have changed because obviously, hopefully those change a little bit. So the weirdest thing about everything so far is that things, some things seem unchanged, some things change pretty drastically. But team of the years did not get touched too much. I guess you know what it is with team of the years? They already weren't the best cards in the game, so whatever their value was was just their value. And then when Ultimate Legends came out, or when the new cards came out, it's like they already weren't at they were already at their low point. So you really can't get much lower. And the thing with this year is and last year, training really holds cards up now. So as long as their training value is in line, it's gonna be very hard for the price to die. Cause as soon as their price comes down, all the training hunters just go there, they buy all their cheap training and they skyrocket them right back up. So let's say every time this card hits 200k, all the training guys are like, oh, good value, and they'll start buying them out. So it's always gonna be very hard to properly get cards to crash, especially if you're waiting on it. Cause trust me, that's pretty much how things work around here. Now Ultimate Legends. Some Ultimate Legends came down, like Brian Urlacher came down. Marcus Allen came down a ton because obviously he's not even a, he's not even comparable in any way, shape, or form. Just compare real quick. Marcus Allen's not even close. He will be close in speed. He'll be off by about two speed. Well, powered up one speed. But the Excel, the agility, the Excel, the carrying, the elusiveness, the trucking, and the brake tackle are gonna be way better. And he gets NFL 100 freight train, which is definitely a big, big benefit. Now, some of these didn't really make sense. Like Sharp came down. A few guys came down here, but in my opinion, guys, the Ultimate Legends aren't going to be impacted too much. Because like I said, these guys, are, for the most part, are still the best at their position. The ones that aren't are guys like Marcus Allen. Guys who already got repeat positions that have dropped aren't going to be... Uh, those guys will be impacted. But for the most part, a lot of them are still the best at their position. So like when another wide receiver comes out, like Randy, maybe Calvin comes out a little bit. Uh, I don't imagine they'll drop too many linemen, so you don't have to worry about that. Is now a buy period or a sell period? Is only a sell if you have the new guys. If you have like Eric Dickerson and those guys, you could sell them, wait for more to come out, and wait for the coins. Rob Woodson's really expensive. Honestly, they're all great cards, but I think in my opinion, I'd probably end up selling these guys here, like the newer ones, because that's just my rule of thumb. I've always told you guys this, never buy the brand new Legends of Legends Saturday. You always wait till the following Saturday, or the next Saturday, or the following Saturday to buy them, because they will come down quite a bit. Right now, they're just all the hype and all the rage right now. Now, why do I have Dickerson? Because I used my power pass, so I didn't have to actually pay for him. Now, I'll take it off, put it right back on Saquon when I feel ready. That is the move I end up making. But for the most part, like I said, I wouldn't pick up the new guys. Always wait. At Tall Jones, people were buying him for like 700K, 600K. Now he's in the, he was in the 400 yesterday. A lot of these things will come down more because remember, these are just the 96, 97s. Ultimate Legends will be dropping 98s and 99s as time progresses. So you really don't have to be worrying about getting these cards now because there'll be even better cards coming out that are really, like these are all going to be end game, but the better cards will give you a slight uptick and only like the people with a lot of money will be able to make the transfer. You guys might be stuck with some of these cards. So that's why I'm not going all in just yet. I've been taking my time. I wanted the new running back. I wanted the line. The line I don't care about. I'm trying to get my line as good as possible. Maximum out at around 98, 99. I'll be happy with that because my line is very weak. But everything else for the most part, all up to you guys. Now the 98s and 99s, like I did say, they did come down as I predicted. I told you guys they would just come down slightly because there's just an influx of cards. Now Nitro and Lane is sitting at about, I believe, oh, they came back up. So they came down and then they came back up. So Nitro and Lane was 800, 790, it's like 790, 840. And then Patrick Mahomes was like 889, 10. So Mahomes actually did come back up as well as Nitro and Lane. So the market crashed for a little bit and then it came back down. So I guess when it comes to content drops like these, Things will come down and then things will come right back up. The next big thing that's probably going to crash the market entirely is going to be the Combine promo. The Combine promo is the next real promo. Anyways, this wasn't exactly a promo once again. This was just a drop of content. One of the best content drops? Yes. Was it the best promo? It wasn't even a promo. It was a content drop, but it was amazing. But a promo will affect it because people are going to be so enticed with the Combine. Super athletic cards. I'm telling you guys, that's going to hit it. Now, the Combine promo a year ago would have came out about, I believe, this what's today today is friday or saturday it's saturday it would have come out like tuesday this coming up tuesday it would have came out last year on the 25th will it come out on the 25th again probably not because theme diamonds came out a little or theme theme yeah no theme uh builders 2 came out a little bit later so the comment pro one might not come out it's like maybe i'd have to say the 27th at the earliest maybe the following friday but we still got time the comment promo usually drops earlier than it should anyways but guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure down below hit that subscribe button. 
Turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to enter the giveaway. All you gotta do is like the video. Comment down below the number of like you are and be subscribed. And once you do all the things you're interested to win, guys, good luck. Every 80 likes is 10K. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.